Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you for watching. So I'm vlogging again. It's a very exciting weekend. I am off to Macclesfield tomorrow with Joe. We're going up to a furniture store up there to pick out some new bits for the new flat, which is very exciting. And as I said, I wanted to take you guys a bit on the journey of us kind of like doing the flat up and all the things we're gonna to pick to be in the flat. I cannot wait, I'm so, so excited. But also today, um, I'm just going up to London now meeting Joe because we are gonna go and get some matching tattoos. Hilarious. I'm gonna make him get my initials on him. I'm joking, I'm not doing that. Um, I feel like January is apparently the time that I just get new tattoos because I did the same thing last January, but hey, it's a good time to do it. Beginning of the year, you know, start it fresh. But yes, yeah, so I'm going out. I found this amazing guy on Instagram who does those really thin tattoos. He's amazing, so I'm so excited to go along. So yes, yeah, so stay tuned to find out what we're gonna get. Yeah, so that's the plan for the weekend. So tattoos, and then we're going on a road trip tomorrow up to like Manchester, up north. North, gonna stay the night in some castle things, all very exciting. Are you excited about your tattoo adventure? I'm so ready. Are you so ready? I've told everyone that you're getting my, your, my initials tattooed on you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> my, uh, the most sober I've been for a tattoo, I think. So. Surely this is your only sober tattoo? Basically, I think so. From my, from my memory. We'll show you Joe's foot in the No, shop. we won't. There we will. The world's not seeing my foot. Well, can we not show them your ankle? It's private. Not your ankle? Maybe a bit of it. Not your always be cool? No. <laughs> <laughs> That's for me. What about the one on your bum? Select. Some people can see. <laughs> if I have a few more drinks. <laughs> so guys, we've just arrived at One by One Studio. This is Connor here, Hello. and he is going to be doing our tattoos. Very, very exciting. He's um, showing us his iPad thing, which is basically where he's got all the tattoos so you can see them before they go on your body. Always very important to do that. This is cute. That looks good. Isn't it? it looks great. Yeah, it's like the emoji. And this is vibes, but I think we're going to change the font to something a little bit different. Although I am tempted by that because it is very cute. We have the final writing here, guys. We're going for this vibes, and then that's the little plane. <laughs> we got I love Sarah on your forehead. Sarah forever. SLA down the middle of your face. Ready for a guy. <laughs> How you doing now? I'm ready. I'm so ready. It's a vibe. I like the seven tattoo on my life. Sarah was only going to get one. This is great. <laughs> How's it going so far? Fine. I feel like I'm one of those weird people that likes the pain, but I don't think I could ever have like a shaded tattoo. Supposed to be addictive, isn't it? <laughs> Here chat. we go. First one done. Look how nice and thin it is. I'm so excited. That's why Connor is absolutely amazing because all his tattoos are those really thin ones. So, very exciting. Nailing it. <laughs> The stencil on my, my little aeroplane. How cute. Number two. <laughs> Complete. Never can just have one done. This is not like sassy camera angles. Yeah. <laughs> I'm getting artsy. We're in a tattoo shop. <laughs> Feeling artsy. Let me see. Yeah, it looks so cool. Yeah, it looks really cool. <laughs> hey. <laughs> We're back. We're back. Tori, did you want to vlog? Yeah, I'm up for it now. Hey guys. This is episode be... two of the vlog. <laughs> no, it's not episode two, it's the same day. Episode two including me though. Okay, yes, this is true. Yeah. It's Joe's takeover. This is Sarah. Hi guys. you don't know her yet. Mm -hmm. And she's going to uh, just give you a little brief summary. Can you, hold, can you hold the camera? Makes yes. life easier. Okay, so basically, we, I, well, we, I wanted to explain the reasoning as to why we got airplane tattoos, didn't I? Because yeah. we, we wanted to get more tattoos, didn't we? But we wanted something that wasn't completely random, and obviously, we didn't want something that was like initials and names and shit like that. So we decided to get airplanes because we met while we were traveling, and thought it'd be quite cute because we travel the world together. It's basically what we do. So that's why we've got those as matching tattoos. <laughs> Thanks, guys. And then tomorrow, where are we going? We're going to Arihi Bianchi. <laughs> I'm laughing because I may as well tell you now. So, we've been invited up to this furniture place by the PR, which is like so amazing. And I said to Joe, I was like, when I cannot for the life of me pronounce the name, I was like, I'm not sure how you say it. So Joe was like, it's fine, it's fine. So he rang up the shop to literally say, can I just ask you how you say the name? Because we didn't want to get it wrong. And can you say it? Ari Ari. Arihi Bianchi. Nailed it. Nailed it. What Nailed a sassy it. name. So, we're in the car. Why are you so dark? I don't know, you've taken the light. No, <laughs> I have not taken the light. And we are heading up to Macclesfield to 
I really be angry. <laughs> you have to say that the whole time. I've got to lock down now. <laughs> you really do. Um, so yeah, so we're heading up there. And we're going to listen to, what are we listening to on the way? We're going to listen to a podcast, which if you haven't heard of, is absolutely hilarious. So Joe's mate told him about it the, like the other day. It's called... My dad wrote a porno. <laughs> That's actually what it's called. It's got like Alice Levine in it and the two other guys, but I don't know what their names are. We're going to listen to the whole thing now. I don't know the other When we listen to like the first three episodes of it, and it's honestly the funniest podcast ever, isn't it? Yeah. It is. If you're like up for a laugh, you have to listen to this podcast. So it's called My Dad Wrote a Porno. It's amazing. We also started watching you... We watched three episodes now, haven't we? Four. Yeah. We started the night before last. We watched them all last night. I'm obsessed. So how has it taken us this long to actually watch this? Ben's watching it. I don't know, but it's amazing. Okay, I'm going to drive now. Every time I'm on a road trip, I've got to fill up with petrol and put washer fluid in this bloody giant car, which is great fun, but my God, does it run out of everything. Sure Obviously, can, yeah. Joe is the man. Just keep going until it overflows. But I was laughing, saying the bonnet of this car is an absolute joke and the engine is just ridiculous, but hey-ho. Pardon? Which bit did you pour it into? <gasps> what did you just pour it into? I hope that's not like something really important. No, it's not. I hope not. It's not. <laughs> <laughs> I love you just in the corner like shit, just poured that into the wrong hole. <laughs> oh. It's fine. You owe me you owe me the money for the repairs if you fuck my car. <laughs> there it is. We made it after three and a half hours of listening to my dad wrote a porno. <laughs> Like we're in the weirdest mind frame to go into like a furniture shop. Yeah, don't think I'm mentally prepared now. <laughs> also, Honestly, you guys have to listen to this podcast. I've literally never laughed so much in my life. A Rihi Bianchi. A Rihi Bianchi is officially in front of us, guys. We've made it to Macclesfield. It's all happening. Mm -hmm. This is going to be an interesting one. Jesus. Surely I don't actually... Can I park in here? Yeah. Yay, we made it. I feel like this is my version of Disneyland, going furniture shopping. Yeah, my first time to Macclesfield. <laughs> it is. I've never been to Macclesfield in my life. Oh, I've actually been to Cheshire, but this is the first time to Macclesfield. Yeah. So yeah, now we get to do the fun part. Oh, hello. Look, gloss and wind. The fact that there's an east entrance makes me feel like this place must be ginormous. Okay, I'm completely obsessed with these signs. I want this one here. Nobody gets out sober. That is so cute. Also, my parents would really appreciate this one here that says Gym Palace. I'm trying to think of walls. It's the only trouble I'm trying to visualise the flat and the space we've got. Because in fact, coming in here, you could just get too much, you know? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Console table, that's what it's called. Console table? Yeah. i never heard of it. Yeah, you get put them in like landings and hallways and stuff. I like this. The shape's better. Yeah, it's cool. <laughs> nice colour as well. That one. But it's a bit pink. Do you want a pink puff in your house? I'm fine with a bit of pink, you know. <laughs> but I like I like the mustard. mustard yeah. That, that could be a lot of fun. Though. It's just that like glass top with that like wood underneath. Yeah, it's, it's quite neat so. though. I think it's too big for that space. It's quite cool. That is cool. Like a dinner party centerpiece. That giant clock is amazing. I'll take up a whole wall. Oh my god, these. That is sick. Oh, I have to those other ones. Same. What do we think, guys? I wish that reflection on the window wasn't on that. Then I just got really excited because we saw this on. Was it on the Instagram or the website? Instagram. And we instantly were like, I want this print. It's just cool. I love the colours in it. I'm really like vibing a neon print at the moment. That's what the theme I think from the last anyway. It's very exciting. Maybe we should get a table, football table, and do like a Joey and Chandler from Friends. We want a dining room table. But instead, we should just get a table. <laughs> now I've seen that, I don't want anything else. <gasps> Look at it. That's all I want. It's a really good colour as well. Oh, that would go in the flat so nicely. It's, it's like the same colour scheme. Sick. Oh my god, we can't get them on. That would be ridiculous. We can. No, because we need more like this kind of vibe. Like an actual table. You're <laughs> like looking back at it. <laughs> Wait. He's like a child that's been told he can't have something. That's all I want now. You literally do. You look like some child that's been like, no, you can't have it. Silver and black. I know, it's very cool. Okay, so they have a cafe bar inside a third restaurant. I said it's like Ikea, but a really sassy version. So I'm going to feed Joe before he gets hungry. I wanted something that's got a bit of colour, because the sofa's grey. So it needs like a colour pop. Knock, knock, it's gin o'clock. That's class. That's amazing. I need to get that for mum. That is so good. Welcome to the madhouse. That's quite cool. Look. I like this one. It just says bye on it. <laughs> That's cool. Oh no, not you again. That's amazing. Knock knock, it's 10 o'clock. It's the best. I don't know. I might have to get one before you leave for mum. 
said to Joe that he was allowed one animal and one animal only because we've seen so many. And um, he he's decided that he likes this gorilla. I like it a lot. Really? That's sick. <laughs> I want the gorilla and the lizard. And the lizard? No, maybe not the lizard. No? There's it's a very shiny lizard. What about the rhino? I want a zoo. Okay, well, next thing you're going to be asking for this giraffe. Also, I love this sofa and this rug is amazing. I really like that rug, actually. It's giving me this little area, it's giving me loads of vibes. Look, you get a giraffe on the wall. Oh my god, look at that. Look at that. It's like a palm tree candle holder. That's amazing. I like that. This is quite good. Have like benches rather than um, chairs around the table. See, like these, I don't need them, but I want them. They're like little flying pigs. <laughs> so much random stuff. Oh, I love that. That's pretty. I want a pink one, and you want the yellow one. <laughs> I really like that. That's such a good quote. Old bays won't open new doors. Love that. That's cute. Oh my god, I love these. This is the pineapple pot that I want. Yeah. And find a use for it or something. Peace, candelabra. That is so cool. I really want one of these. More importantly, we found the animal. I know, look, this is, you, surely this is the one you want. This is sick. Look, it's like two tones, gold and black. Uh, but it could be worse, guys. Joe could be uh, asking for this one, Daniel. I'm surprised you're not asking for that one, actually. I didn't see that one. Oh, gosh, Otherwise now I pointed it out. This is not good. <laughs> So you like the dog? The dog is cute. I do like that. I will agree with you on that one. Hello. <laughs> what are you doing? In the corner I can just hear you. Hello. <laughs> I like these big chunky knit rugs. That one's a good colour. That would go with the colour scheme. That's sick. That's nice. Another contender. That is quite cool though. But I think it looks cool because of the stand that it's on. I think it would look cool anywhere. I'll take a picture of it for you and we can think about it. <laughs> Like having a child. This is the old school lads room. Joe's found his like man cave section. This is man cave goals. Oh yeah, look. It's Muhammad Ali, this, this is dog. <laughs> You're not getting that. <laughs> so it's not happening. I'm not giving enough credit in the score then. <laughs> Surprise, you haven't announced that you want the map of the world. Surely that's a bit of you. I didn't see that, I was looking at these paddles. But... <laughs> yes, because that's exactly what we need in our flat. Our two bedroom I'm flat. getting distracted and excited. This is a bit of you. This is cool. But we don't have anywhere to put it. Yeah. Especially if we get a giant gorilla, there's be no room for a map. It's tough to keep the discipline in there. <laughs> it is. We've made it to the bed section. This is so popular. It's what everyone does when they come to bed sections. You have to. Yeah? Well, I mean, you look fabulous. You feel great. Yeah. It's okay. really working for you. I highly recommend. Yeah? A bit of a temper mattress here. Yeah, it's actually slightly, slightly bigger. I can play hide and seek in here with you. That would be sick. This would be a great place for it. <laughs> When you were younger and you used to go shopping with your siblings or whatever and you just play hide and seek while you go and shop. Yeah, I feel <laughs> like doing and then we'd now. actually get lost in the like grocery store and then panic because we think we'd have literally lost our parents. This is nice. I mean, it's not it's really the colour scheme, but that's such a nice rug. Okay, so that was great fun, wasn't it? Yeah, incredible. I feel like we have more of a vision now for the flat. Colour scheme. Joe's found his animals. Lots of options. Right? <laughs> yeah, I've been told that you can't have a table football table, but... Yet. <laughs> Yet. Yet. Well, when we have a house that's not two bedroom flat, then yes. Mm. But until then, yeah. we need an actual table. Just looking into the future. We need the perfect dining room table and coffee table. And a coffee table. That's what we've got left. But that was very helpful. We've got a lot of stuff that I like in there, which is very exciting. All right. Okay. Anyway, so we are off to now a place called. Heckforton Castle was it? Yeah, I think so. This is where we're staying the night. I'm a bit scared though because I've convinced myself it's haunted because it's like a proper medieval castle. Joe's really excited. Yes. If you guys watch my misguided Christmas vlog and then you understand why I'm stressing out because it was a horrendous experience. So, it's going to be <laughs> happening again. <laughs> Still on the porno. I'm just going to pause this. <laughs> I'm going to take a photo of this. This is epic. So this is the entrance. Peckforton Castle, we are literally in the countryside there and I'm getting a little bit scared, the fact that we're sleeping here. This is insane. Wow. What the hell? This is ridiculous. Oh my God, that looks amazing. So we've made it. Here we are. <laughs> I'm trying to hide the fact that I'm scared. So old school. It's amazing. It is amazing, like look at this, hang on. Ah. It does look really pretty, but it doesn't take away from the fact that it's a medieval very old castle. I like this light in here is giving it like a, 
like a old school old glow. School, yeah. Do you know what I mean? So this is our room, which actually isn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to have a four posted bed and I was going to freak out because I can't deal with that. Look, Joe, animals. Perfect. Surely you're feeling at home. They're new. They let you have animals. I'm assuming through here is a bathroom. It's quite an, it's quite an intense door. Let's have a look, shall we? Ooh. Ah. Sassy. Look at that bathtub. So this is cute. So we've got a little note over here and then a bottle of champers which is a shame because i'm doing dry january and so is joe technically unless you're planning on drinking the whole bottle to yourself we'll see how tonight goes <laughs> and then we've got some little treats here which i really want to eat i'm trying to be good but i think i probably will eat them to be honest so anyway, let me vlog his ankles of his oh, random know. tattoos not yet show me a unicorn too soon <laughs> too soon <laughs> very protective over your like Oi, oi. This is a unicorn that Joe got when we were in Ibiza like two years ago because I told everyone I'd get one as well and then didn't. Whoops. No, she didn't stick to her word. No, because well, I don't want to really, really want a unicorn me, but you love unicorns. Yeah, I do, so. Unicorns are Joe's favourite thing. I wanted it anyway. If you either show the ankle or the one on your ass. <laughs> so we are now off to dinner. I'm so excited to eat. Very excited. We're going to say, apparently the restaurant here is quite bouge. So I'm very excited. I looked up on the website and they've got desserts that are served in like flower pots. So, oh my god, I just hit the TV. Pardon? Award winning desserts. Award winning desserts. Plus, they have something sort of pina colada with rum jelly. So, sounds like a bit of me. Joe and I have easily decided on the steak because it comes with truffle, dofu, noir, and anything that comes with truffle is just unreal. Also, look, blueberry panna cotta with champagne sorbet. That is a bit of me. This is the restaurant, by the way. In case you were wondering. So, it is the morning. I survived the night in the castle. It was actually completely fine and I had a really good sleep once I fell asleep. It was quite warm, wasn't I? Yes. You got annoyed because I was like faffing around because I was really hot. We also watched all of you. We finished it and it was amazing. It was so good. I was not expecting the ending, so I'm sad. I want season two to come out already. Yeah, so today we are maybe going to go for a walk around the grounds and then drive back home because it's Sunday, get ready for tomorrow. So I'm just sat here editing this vlog, which is gonna go up tomorrow. And it's so funny because, yes, I'm obsessed with it, I think we've all realized now, but I'm watching the Friends episode where Monica and Chandler move in together and it literally reminds me so much of Joe and I trying to furniture shop, especially how Joe now wants a farmyard of animals in a two bedroom flat that is not big enough for a wardrobe room, let alone a farm of animals. <laughs> So yeah, so as I say, I'm editing this vlog now, so I'm just going to end it here. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching and seeing what we got up to this weekend. It was so fun and it's just made me so, so excited for kind of the next few weeks and all that kind of stuff. It feels really real. It was it was very kind of like adult trip going furniture shopping with a boyfriend. It felt really funny in a good way, obviously. But yeah, so give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys.